It's time for evolution. We welcome you to the Gono Art family. Today in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to make a definite decision within your life. And so decision making is something that I've been uh, struggling with some, some time or so. Sometimes I, uh, I struggle with decision making. But uh, now I've come to a point in which I've, uh, in which I know which decision to make and how to stick with it without having any regrets later on. So I remember in the past I'd constantly overthink that, oh, should I do this? Should I stay? Should I go? And even when I had a gut feeling to stay or when I had a gut feeling to go, I usually ignore those gut feelings. So in this video, I'm going to give you guys a logical method that I use to stick to a decision and not regret it later on. And keep in mind, this is something that works for me. So what method works for everyone else, it can be different as well. So if you resonate with this message, awesome. And so recently I was faced with a uh, with a uh, undecisive moment the other day, which hasn't happened in a in a long time. And so the story goes is during that morning of me going to visit my my old college to see some old people that I, that I went to, to class with my old classmates. So uh, I, I had a decision to make rather I should uh, go or stick to some the responsibilities that I have with my work. And so and so I was also contemplating as to whether I should go another day or today. So at that moment, my gut feeling was telling me today was a good day to go. However, I was undecisive. And so the logical game I played is this game of what if scenarios. So the what if scenario was what if I saw most of my classmates today? What if I meet someone inspiring today? And constant what if scenarios would come to my mind. So it's due to the, the, the fact of my gut feeling really wanting, wanting to go and me playing the what if scenarios of as to what would happen if I did go, I chose to, uh, to go. And at the same time, it was important for me to go on that day because I didn't know how the schedules work. I didn't know who came there more often. I, didn't, I wasn't aware as to who graduated or so, but I was just going based on this gut feeling feeling of wanting to go and so I went there and then as as I uh, I as I arrived at towards my destination I managed to see most of my old classmates that used to attend my my college and there was also an event going on of this popular artist unknowingly to me and although I got to see most of my classmates today I mean the other day when I went to go visit Although I got to see most of my classmates on that day, uh, we got to talk and catch up, and there was this event going on. And so, although I was uh, I was talking a bit, and then the event started, I stayed for a while. But near the end, while I was uh, when I uh, stayed for a while, and I was deciding to rather leave or not, I was thinking about, oh, should I stay longer or should I go? So this was another undecisive moment for me because my main focus was to bond and connect with my, my peers. However, the event was taking place. So as I decided to walk off, my gut feeling was telling me to, Marcus, you should stay. But I was really undecisive as to rather my gut feeling, I, rather I, I was actually following my gut feeling or not. So I was undecisive on that, on that path. So then I just decided to leave and then I, I, I went home and then I ended up regretting not staying longer. And so I knew what time the event was going to end. However, it didn't come to my conscious awareness that my main focus of going there was to connect with people. So I was choosing rather I should connect with them or stick to my, my personal responsibilities, such as commission work and, and whatnot. And so then when I left, uh, I, I did some workout sessions and then after that, I started uh, ruminating in my head, oh, what would have happened if I if I stayed longer? What if this and this happened? You know, a lot of potential reality started coming up into my mind. But I'm actually more grateful for this experience because it made me come to a conclusion as to how I should finalize and make my decisions before I, I go head forth. So if there's an event or if there's someone that I fancy, you know, 
I go up to I go up to and then I, I just talk to to the person I fancy or I go to this event that I wanted to go if I play these what if scenarios. Now it may be a positive or negative scenarios, but it beats like regretting it later on. And so during your undecisive moments, you can start to play with these what if scenarios. Now, if you have a deadline or if there's some urgent like some kind of emergency among one of your family members that they're at the hospital so then yeah then that would be a, a major priority to take care of so if something like that that happens that'll be a time to like stop stop everything you're doing and you know take care of those priorities first and i feel innately your gut will want to have a stronger desire to want to visit that family member or to want to finish that project that has a deadline and that will be the video. Thank you all for watching. And happy decision making to you all. And peace.